the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 245, Ezekiel 8 to 11. Jerusalem in the vision. The evils of Jerusalem, which were conveyed to the people of South Judah in Babylon, made them foresee Jerusalem's destruction. First point God showed Ezekiel the four types of idol worship that the people of South Judah were carrying out through visions. During the sixth year in Babylon, as a captive, Ezekiel saw a vision whilst he was in his home. This was the fourth vision with a vision above the bolts. God took Ezekiel to the inner section of the Jerusalem temple and through to the door on the north. Here, God showed Ezekiel four types of idols inside the Jerusalem temple. On the north side of the temple, the idol of jealousy was erected. Second, were the idols that the 70 elders of Israel and the priests were worshipping. This was a pitiful sight of the elders, and even the priests were secretly worshipping idols whilst burning the incense for God. Third was the idol that the women served just outside the temple door, the idol called Tammuz. Tammuz was the idol that Babylon and a few other countries served and it represented abundance. The fourth was the god of the sun, which around 25 people worshipped in front of the temple and also in between the altars. This was where only the priests were permitted to stay, but these people worshipped an idol in this area, which was indeed a serious sin. As such, God showed Ezekiel all these disgusting sins that were taking place within the Jerusalem temple. And now the people were unable to escape God's judgment. Second point, Moses, Ezekiel, and Paul all had times when they cried out to God. God showed Ezekiel the people worshipping idols in the Jerusalem temple through visions and now declared their judgment. But the amazing thing was that despite such circumstances, God still distinguished those whom he would save. God showed whom he would save with a sign on their head in order to distinguish them. This sign on the head in Ezekiel later appears again in Revelation. This was God showing that, excluding those who had the sign on their heads, the last were idol worshippers, and God would judge them. According to the laws in a kingdom of priests, if the priest had touched a dead body, they were unable to enter God's dwelling place. God told them to fill the temple with dead bodies in his anger towards Jerusalem. To this, Ezekiel cried out to God. In the past, Moses had a pride for the people who had made and worshipped the golden calf. Some time later, Paul also cried for the people. This time, despite Ezekiel's prayer for the people, God did not change his mind to judge. Their sins were too severe that it was impossible for them to escape their punishment. Third point, Ezekiel's ministry was focused on God's glory. Despite Ezekiel's pleading to God for the people, God still showed him the judgment of burning coals that was to come upon Jerusalem. This was a pre-show of how Jerusalem was to burn down in the hands of Babylon. After showing Ezekiel the vision of the burning coal, he then showed Ezekiel his glory. The reference to the groves here were those who were living near the Keba River. Fourth point, during God's vision, Ezekiel saw the idol worship in Jerusalem as well as the people's misunderstanding towards God. The people who were left in Jerusalem 
after the first and second round of captives still believed that God was protecting them from Babylon. Amongst them, 25 leaders of South Judah stood out to Ezekiel. God declared that they were the ones who were leading the evil in Jerusalem. These leaders who were appointed by God were telling the people that South Judah would not fall. These leaders changed Jeremiah's waters of the boiling pot and twisted them to proclaim that Jerusalem would grow stronger and that the flames would protect them. God followed on and strongly declared that he would destroy South Judah. God continued to speak to Ezekiel. God confirmed the fall of these 25 leaders through the metaphor of a killing and meat. And when one of the 25 died, Ezekiel prayed to God for the remaining people. Amidst such a serious situation, there were still people who did not recognize God's will and misunderstood that God would protect them until the end. God showed Ezekiel how these people misunderstood and then explained that through the 70 years in Babylon, they would be able to become re-established as a good fix in a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, to the people of South Judah who were dispersed, God told Ezekiel that he would be their holy price for a short while. God told Ezekiel that although he had scattered the people of South Judah in Babylon, he would nevertheless provide for them his dwelling. God furthermore promised that when the 70 years came to an end, the people of South Judah would be restored as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. In other words, the 70 years in Babylon had already been decided, and once the time was over, the people would be able to restore their relationship with God. Ezekiel understood God's will and continued his life near the Keba River and delivered God's message to the people. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.